LangChain, a framework for building applications powered by language models. It aims to help developers do two things. The first one is to connect language models to new sources of data. The second one is to make language models agentic, to let them take actions. In this video, we're going to use the Python version of the framework. And we're going to explore the Pandas data frame agent to try to understand what the future of data analysis might hold. To do that, we're going to use a LangChain wrapper around GPT-4 to analyze and extract insights from data in a Pandas data frame with thousands of rows. The data we're going to analyze is an e-commerce data set with customer orders. And I'm going to show you how we can use these tools to seriously speed up the data analysis process. To get started, we only need to pip install pandas, langchain, and .in. And then we drop the API key from OpenAI into an environment file. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to load the API key using load.in and find.in. And then I'm going to import pandas. Then I'm going to import chat open API from Langchain chat models, and I'm going to import create pandas data frame agent from Langchain agents. And we're going to use this as a wrapper around GPT-4, which is a chat model. All right, so let's have a look at the raw data we want to analyze. We have a CSV file with 13,300 and something orders with an order ID, a timestamp for the order, a subtotal price, and a customer ID. And we're just going to use pandas to import this CSV file into a pandas data frame. And here we have it, 13,339 orders. And of course, we wouldn't be able to paste a file of this size into the chat GPT prompt. Next up, we're going to instantiate the chat model, GPT-4, and we're going to instantiate the agent. And note that the agent takes the chat model as an input, as well as the data frame. And this is all there is to it. Now we're actually ready to have the agent start analyzing the data. So we're going to start off with a simple question. We're going to ask, what is the total revenue generated from all the orders? We can see that a chain has now been executed. This is going to take a few seconds. And here we have the total returned by the agent. So this wasn't a problem. We even get the pandas code that the agent used. So let's try a slightly harder question. What is the average order value? This is a metric that any e-commerce business wants to track. And again, no problem. We get the results. It takes the mean of the column subtotal price. So let's try to increase the level of difficulty once again. Let's ask what the repeat order rate is. This involves both finding the total number of customers and the total number of customers that have made a repeat order. And this time it fails. Let's have a look at the error. All right, so we see this with the language models sometimes that we get an output that is non-actionable. I'm not gonna bother digging into the error right now. So I'm just gonna write what is the overall repeat order rate. And sometimes that's all it takes to have the language model reevaluate and return what you want. All right, so it gives us the total number of orders and then the number of repeat orders and then divides those two numbers. And I guess technically you could call that a repeat order rate, but it's not really what we're after. We usually want the fraction of customers that have made a repeat order. So I'm just gonna give that input to the model. And now we see that it counts unique customers. and then the number of customers that have made a repeat order. And then it calculates the repeat order rate by dividing the two numbers, like we usually define it in e-commerce. All right, so in the last example, I'm gonna to try to go even harder. Let's try to have the language model do an RFM segmentation of the customers. And again, we see that we get the reasoning behind the approach. And it seems like the agent actually knows what to do. And it actually creates an RFM data frame based on the order data. I think that's really impressive. So this is without a doubt going to speed up data analysis work going forward. And before I end this video, I just want to make a few comments on where I see this going in the next three to six months. So what we can do now is we can have an agent analyze data, in this case, the pandas data frame agent by asking specific questions, and it will try to return an answer to the question you're asking. But what we really want is we want to be able to work with the agent. 
So not only do we want the agent to return an answer, but we want it to return the data frame that comes out of the analysis so that you as a data analyst or data scientist can continue the work. And then you might ask the agent again at some point about something new. And what we really want is we want to establish a feedback loop. Another thing we're going to see is we're going to have the agent reference external web pages. So think about when you write code, you usually look up documentation online. We can have Langchain do that. The framework already includes a Python requests tool that can have an agent extract information from a web page. And now it's only a matter of building this into the data analysis process. All right, that's it for now. If you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.